I actually don't think there's a double standard because I think uh, I, I think double standards are wrong phrase. I think there's a pick and choose sort of uh, element to it all. Michael Vick electro electrocutes his dogs. He's you know he's a goner. Uh, Brett Myers beats his wife. We'll keep him around. You know Tony Larusa DUI okay. Wally Backman no good. It's almost like they they reach into a hat. And they say, which of these guys are we going to fry? Which of the guys of these guys are we going to keep around? Again, there's so many. There's so many guys in professional sports who have done some terrible. I mean, Tank Johnson, signed by the Dallas Cowboys. Now, great, he's a part. You know, he's a big part of their team. Certainly, what he did was comparable, comparable to Wally Backman. Um, but again, we choose. And, and another thing is, Tony Larusa uh, has proven himself to be a great major league manager. It's hard to argue that. So I think he's going to get a pass. Wally Backman hasn't proven much of anything on, on a major league level as a manager. He hasn't proven anything. So. Why would you, you already have uh, Tony La Russa under contract. You already have this resume of World Series and, and you know, guys uh, doing amazing things. You'll let it go. But if Tony La Russa came to you, had never managed a major league game, and you found out he had a DUI, you probably wouldn't hire him. Because again, he's, he's your spokesperson for your franchise, and you're not going to bring it in that way. So if you have the background, and you've already experienced a lot of things, and you've already brought a lot of money to an organization, they'll overlook you. If you come in fresh and you have this in your background, they're going to hang you out to dry.